Hey everyone, I am Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this is my Toskirak leveling guide video. Now, uh, in order to get to Toskirak, what you need to do is head to Plane of Knowledge, hail the Herald of Bertoctilus, say Time, which will take you to Plane of Time, and then from there you can enter the Void by clicking on the little pretty portal. And once you are in the Void, you will be able to enter Tosk. <clears throat> from there, what you want to do is run down to this big open area here into this little circle which is pretty much smack dab in the center of the area and that's pretty much where we're going to be leveling now all around this camp you're going to be able to you're going to be finding Ralosian Sent sentinels and hulking war boars now depending exactly on um, I'm trying to think um, as many how many AAs you have and how they are placed will determine what you can and can't do in this camp now uh and these Ralosian Sentinels are not relatively weak, whereas these Hel Hulking War Boars are relatively weak. Now, if you are not familiar with relatively weak mobs, what it means is, regardless of the mob's level, for their level, they are extremely weak. Imagine a player at that level with no AAs. That's exactly the amount. That's exactly how strong the mobs would be at that level. Pretty much, they hit like crap. They have no defenses, no HP, and they would, if the mobs could group up together, they would be completely worthless. Pretty much exactly how it is when a player at that level has no AAs, as aforementioned. Now, depending on how many AAs you have will determine exactly what you want to do. If you have a low amount of AAs, about 800 and below, well, actually 800 would pretty much be bare minimum being able to hunt here. But if you have about 800 AAs, what you will want to do is focus only on the war boars. You want to pull them into the middle area, which is right over there, and kill them inside of there. Outside would be pretty much too dangerous for you. I actually don't even recommend that, that you level here with such low amount of AAs. But I know there are people out there that would get bored of other zones or stuff like that. So this is an area that you can come to, but once again, if you have a really, 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 really low amount of AAs, I highly recommend you stay away from here. You're not going to be able to handle the normal mobs that well. Uh, they're going to destroy you, and you're not definitely not going to be able to handle the names. And even if you do come here, sometimes there are mobs that spawn under the world, and they happen to just pop up when you pull a boar over them. So all of these things are worth keeping in mind and all reasons if you have a low amount of AAs that you should not be coming here. So uh, if you have about, this area is good for people that have about maybe 1,700 AAs and above and are at least level, I'm trying to think of the proper level before I die here. As you can see, I am level 90 with uh, 2,600 AAs and I am still having somewhat of a difficult experience here because I've pulled a captain uh, a war boar is on my mercenary which is bad because he's interrupting his cast and I also have a named on me so if I'm struggling here at level 90 which is above the level you'll be coming here at and significantly higher AAs than the base amount that you'll be coming here with it should be obvious that you are going to have to pay attention when you are here and be very very cautious when you are here as well I'm also missing a few important buffs because I haven't played this game in forever. I've been focusing a lot on Diablo 3 recently. And for my EverQuest fans, I do apologize for that. Um, pretty much, <clears throat> if you're watching this video shortly after it came out, uh, I've made a new little cool thing, which is pretty much called EverQuest Tuesdays. Every Tuesday when the Diablo 3 servers are down, I hop on EverQuest and make some EverQuest videos. Um, redoing old locations as well as adding in new locations. And... Uh, I plan to do this every single Tuesday as long as the Diablo 3 servers come down until I find something else to do on Tuesday, which probably won't happen for a while. <clears throat> so, uh, just pop in my loot, want to see what this guy drops, cool beans, stuff I can sell in the bazaar. On your server, you probably won't be able to sell that in the bazaar, because uh, on Fernia V, nothing, well, almost nothing is no drop. I got to do hide corpse looted because there's mobs everywhere, and we're off to killing once again, actually, I want to pop Paragon of Spirit to get my mercenary some mana. <clears throat> and uh, ultimately, uh, there's not much else to say about this location besides if you can't handle these Ralosian, uh, if you can't handle the Ralosian mobs, which aren't relatively weak, uh, only, once again, focus on the War Boars. I can't stress that enough because if you accidentally pull one of these, they will put a quick end to your farming or uh, leveling experience. 
and that's just going to bother you, you know, waste your time and all of that fun stuff. Other locations that I recommend, which are easier than here, uh, you got Ocean Green Hills, Ocean Green Village. There's tons of animals out there you can kill. Some of them aren't even relatively weak, which could add a nice little bonus experience. You also got zombies out in Ocean Green uh, Hills. Uh, Black Burrow is nice too. Also, Old Common Lands as well as Bloody Kithithikor is nice. There's quite a bit of stuff that you can kill there. <clears throat> and uh, really, there's tons of different locations. If you're not familiar with all the different locations available to you at your level range, what I highly recommend you do is go to my website, which there's a link in the description of every one of my videos always. Go to my website, and from there, you will be able to uh, figure out all the locations. I have pretty much all the locations made out in my leveling guides. And that turns out to be very helpful for a lot of players since EverQuest is an extremely big game and can be very daunting to a new player that's coming here. You just won't know where to go, where to go, and uh, where is good. Hopefully my website will alleviate some of that stress and pretty much leave all of the enjoyment to the game, all of the enjoyment of the game to you. At least that's my sole intention with the website and I really hope it does accomplish that for quite a few players out there. Uh... <clears throat> Since there's really nothing else to do besides mindlessly kill these mobs, I'm going to kill this pack of mobs, uh, talk through it, loot it, show you the secondary location which I have found, and then we will end the video and I will start making a video for another place. So, uh, the second location where you can level up, which if you don't want to get any of the Warbores at all, aka you have a lot of AAs and you just want good experience, you want to go down this hallway here. Which leads to Koraskian Warrens, which is the next zone in my leveling guide where you'll want to go. It's a much, much harder than this zone. And uh, <clears throat> I, I don't recommend you go there if you are struggling even remotely with this zone. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is there's going to be a lot of vendor trash that you get here. Also, you want to loot all of the cultural items because the cultural items will sell in the bazaar for a good deal of money. Um... <clears throat> You'd be actually pretty surprised how much the ore sells for, the silk sells for, the pelts sell for, and all of that fun stuff. It's actually a great deal of money, and it's very, very worth looting them and selling them in the bazaar. Um, chances are, if you're a free-to-play player, you're probably not even going to be able to handle this location due to the fact that there is a cap on how many AAs you're allowed to have. But if you are, there's also quite a bit of vendor trash that you're going to be getting from here, which you'll be able to sell uh, once to a vendor, obviously. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. And uh, you'll be able to sell that to a vendor, which will net you quite a decent price. So uh, here's the hallway, which leads to Karaskian Warrens. As you can see, the mobs in here are very, very spread out, which makes it ve a nice location if you're looking to level away from the Warbors. I ran by the two guards at the door back there, primarily because uh, they both come at the same time, and I'm a little bit low on mana, and I don't want to burn my mercenary out. Plus, I wanted to show this hallway in the video, but generally I do kill those two guards. This hallway will go all the way up pretty much to Karaskian Warren's entrance, and you can follow it all the way through if you so much please to. Um, it's fairly easy. You really will never get more than two mobs at one time if you do. Uh, <clears throat> I would save your cooldowns for once you learn where that pack is. Pop your cooldowns for that pack, take it out. Maybe switch your merc mercenary instead of to balance to reactive. That might uh, that should improve things for you quite a bit. Um, usually there always is a group here, which I was just about to say, and I passed him. I'm not going to kill into his camp. But uh, usually, as you can see, that location is fairly decent because there usually always is somebody there. Um, and don't be rude. Don't kill into his camp. Uh, don't take his mobs. This is probably his mob here, so I'm not going to take it. Uh, I didn't know he was there. That's why I killed the other mob in the hallway, but... EverQuest is a generally extremely nice game. The people are, are extremely nice, so don't come in here and fling your World of Warcraft rude shit around because all you're going to be doing is pissing people off while you're doing it. Uh, <clears throat> respect people's camps, respect people's hunting locations, and don't be afraid to ask somebody if they'd like to group. But besides that, that's pretty much all I can think of for this video, so if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe to me. Uh, once again, every Tuesday, I will do my best to upload strictly EverQuest videos, quite a few of them too, covering a bunch of different leveling locations and all of that fun stuff. So, uh, hope to see you guys in the future, and hope you guys like this video.